Hi, welcome back to MCAT Self Prep's MCAT Question of the Day. I'm Theo Bennett, 100th percentile 528 perfect MCAT tutor, and today I'm going to be walking you through one of the many practice problems found on MCAT Self Prep as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be doing one of the questions from a new question bank that we've developed. We've created hundreds of AAMC style MCAT questions for you to work through at your own pace with explanations included. But today I'm going to be offering you some of my personal insight. So go ahead and pause the video and try this out for yourself. All right, now that you've tried this question out for yourself, let's dive right in. Here we see that Sarah is playing a game. Sarah has decided to answer yes to every single question. And really this question is testing one of the psychological terms of signal, signal detection theory. So let's learn a little bit more. In signal detection theory, you're going to be presented with a stimulus, and then you're going to have a response. Now, on the Khan Academy videos, they go into a lot more detail, but really all you need to know for the MCAT is this matrix right here. If you correctly perceive the stimulus and say that you perceive it, that is what we call a hit. Now, if the stimulus is absent and you say that you don't perceive the stimulus, that's a correct rejection. But where the MCAT likes to test you are on these two blocks right here. Now, they will classify them as a false alarm if you perceive a stimulus that wasn't there. And they'll say they'll classify it as a miss if the signal is present, but you don't perceive the response. So again, remember these two responses, false alarm and miss. Sorry. The reason the AMC wants you to learn this is because in medicine, there are a lot of tests that you have to order, and it's important to understand false positives and false negatives. Now, here the matrix has been slightly reversed uh, with true positives and true negatives being changed. They used to be in these two columns. But as you may be recognized from the pandemic, what we really care about in medicine are false positives and false negatives. False positives are false alarms and false negatives are misses. And so if we can equate these terms of false positives and false negatives, that'll help us better understand signal detection theory. Again, false positives are when we have a positive test, but the condition is not present, like a false positive on a COVID test. And a false negative on a COVID test would be that the person actually does have COVID and they test negative. And usually in medicine, like in cancer detection, False negatives are more important, and we should watch out for those more than false positives. So, as we approach this question again, we are asked with the question of what strategy does Sarah employ? Here, Sarah is employing a strategy where she's saying yes to everything. So she's going to have a lot more false positives than she will false negatives. And so, right off the bat, we can get rid of false alarm. Signal prediction is just another name for signal detection, and so that's also false. And finally, she's employing a liberal strategy as opposed to a conservative strategy. A liberal strategy meaning that she's more likely to respond, uh, and conservative means that she would be extra careful to respond. Thanks again for watching, and if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. And also check out all of our practice questions that we have available on our e-course, um, including all the explanations as well. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.